guys. Welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. I want to teach you two simple approaches that will allow you to solve this problem very quickly. The first approach is to simply recognize that the information in this question stem relates perfectly to an equation that you should have memorized. And that equation is Q equals MCAT. And I say MCAT because it's easy to remember because it looks like MCAT. It actually is the mass times the specific heat times the change in temperature. And if you're struggling to remember your important equations, I would definitely recommend working your way through my 100 most essential equations mastery course. It teaches you the 100 equations that you should know spot on for the MCAT. Because on the MCAT, there are some equations you simply need to recognize and understand, and there are some equations like this one that you definitely want to have memorized. So I definitely recommend mastering every equation in my mastery course before you take your test. And now that we have the equation, we can just plug and chug. Q is what we're solving for. M is going to be 423, but I'll round that to 500. And C is going to be 0.385, and I'll just round that to 0.5. And change in temperature is going to be about 20 degrees Celsius. If this math looks a little bit scary to you, I definitely recommend my high speed math mastery course. It'll walk you through how to do this kind of calculation very quickly. For instance, my preferred approach here would simply be to multiply 0.5 by 20, which would be 10, which 10 times 500 is much easier to solve. You would know quickly that it's just going to add an extra zero. It's equal to 5,000. And remember our units, this is in joules. And we're solving for kilojoules, so I'm actually going to convert this to 5 kilojoules. And there's my answer. The other way to solve this is to simply use the units to figure out what math you should be doing. For instance, we're solving for kilojoules, and we're given the units of joules per gram times Celsius for this copper specific heat. And if I multiply that by grams, grams will cancel out. And if I multiply that by degrees Celsius, that will also cancel out. That's going to give me my units that I'm looking for in my answer, so I can realize that I should just multiply all these numbers by each other, and that's going to give me the final units that I want. Our rounded answer was 5 kilojoules, which is closest to answer choice A. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.